first you might think you've taken a wrong turn and gotten lost into a fairy tale world of spires and steeples, castles and domes, and a moon faced clock tower announcing lost time. But this isn't a child's dream. This is Chalet Suzanne, home sweet hideaway to Vida and Carl Hinshaw. This is our home, and we're so used to seeing everything and doing everything that uh, we forget that things look different to uh, other people who are coming in. You see, for over half a century, the world has known about this country inn and restaurant hidden away in 100 acres of rolling hills in central Florida. That's why a grass airstrip runs alongside it. Uh, that's Carl Hinshaw now, preparing to land in his favorite aircraft. He really loves flying. He flies his gyrocopter most every day. In fact, it was Carl's mother, Bertha, who started this sprawling maze of 30 guest rooms back in the 1930s, creating an Alice in Wonderland touch wherever her fancy struck. That's the thing about Chalet Suzanne. Every room is different. In fact, the architecture is, well, kind of hard to explain. Well, it is slightly irrational, wouldn't you say? <laughs> in fact, would you be able to tell their famous gourmet restaurant was once upon a time a stable for farm animals? A rabbit hutch and a chicken house were added on to the horse stable. Which the formed, horse stable? Uh -huh, which formed the, the lobby and the entrance room of the restaurant. But the main reason people keep coming to Chalet, Suzanne? Of course, the food. Now I'm talking about homemade gastronomic inventions like broiled grapefruit with chicken liver, chicken Suzanne, and that famous romaine soup the astronauts took to the moon. It all adds up to one of Florida's top rated restaurants. Now isn't it nice to know a home can be more than just one man's castle? I mean, is this a great state or what?